Hello and welcome to the regular expressions training. We will go ahead and continue right now with the same regular expressions which we were working on for search and replace. So we were working on a script for regular expression search and replace. And if we have any Unix which is there in the file, it would be replaced with Linux in this regular expression type which we have defined in the script. What in case if we have multiple Unix in the same file? So how do we replace multiple Unix, the matching string multiple string matching in one single line. So let's open up the file and make you understand how exactly it's done. So in the first line we have Unix which it would be replaced with the help of Linux. The same way second line it would replace it with Linux. But we have the same string which has been repeated here. If we do not use the G character here so it would not replace multiple repeating strings in one single line. It would only change it for the first available matching string. So I is used for case insensitiveness and then G is used for multiple matching strings. So let's go ahead and run this script by using Perl. search and replace and let's get the file right now and if you see here right now all the strings which had Unix has been replaced with Linux that's what we did it so we can once again go ahead and change the script and we can Go ahead and run it as well. So let's now continue with the next script. So where we will be working on integers. So when we type date plus percentage r, we get the output as the hours, minutes, seconds, and the period. So I have written a script for regular expressions searching integers so where it will search for the digits which is there where we identified with the help of a D character. So, so now it is searching for the digits and then it is presenting the same digits here as a variable for us. We are just defining the variable and here we are defining the regular expression. If you see here this is the regular expression which we have defined and dot star represents any character anything. So to find out or search for digits we will use D and to extract characters we use W and to forward slash backslash W and for digits we use D and to pick up the remaining value we can use dot asterisk so dot, dot asterisk would be for anything and everything okay so when we use date plus percentage R so the date is presented like this so that's what we have taken it as a variable here 
then we are searching for all the integer values which is there with the help of regular expression and then we are presenting it back with the print statement here so let's run this script right now so we'll use Perl regex search integers so we will use that D for searching integers okay so you can see the output which it is taken and which is presented on the date that is R minute seconds and period so that's good so the next script which we want to know about so we in the regular ex expressions we have so we have used search and replace search searching integers and uh, the next thing is how do we search a group of matching characters so let's open up that script and know how exactly do we work with that so I'll say regex search for group of strings so here we have written a script where the array will store might night tight right and cat cat is not something which is out of our uh, matching group so here M is the common M is the letter which matches the first string with IGHT N is the character which matches with the second string with IGHT so IGHT is the common string which we have in all the words which we have taken and then it has to dump the output onto the screen with the help of dollar underscore variable which we have taken and this is the regular expressions which we have defined here to do a group search so you can also do a group search with the help of giving a square brackets inside and outside that we will define the other matching characters which we want so now let's go ahead and run this script so that it will store these words into the array and search and then dump it onto the screen so if you see here now it has dumped only the five words which we have stored in the array it did not print the last one because it did not match so <clears throat> so that's all what we have for the regular expressions a quick review is regular expressions is used to search pattern searching like asterisk period question mark dollar anchor so where dollar and anchor or caret is used dollar is used to search the last word of the line and anchor is used for the first word of the line and we use double forward slashes which is a syntax which we consider as a regular expression and we use equals to and a tilde to tell the Perl to operate with the regular expressions. Thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead.